Let's take a look at how to add gradient to text in Illustrator. Text is kind of interesting, especially editable text. So if I wanted to keep this text editable and add a gradient, you can change the fill of text really easily just by double clicking this or changing the fill in the appearance panel. But the gradient doesn't seem to work. For whatever reason, if we pull open our appearance panel, you can go up to window, down to appearance. Type is, type is interesting. Type has an appearance, but also the characters have an appearance. So in our appearance panel, if we double click characters, this is where the fill and the stroke are if you're just messing with them out here under your toolbar or over here in your properties panel. The characters themselves cannot have a gradient. So we're gonna undo this fill completely and just make it none. No stroke, no fill. Now click back on type or double click back on it. We're kind of up a level in our appearance panel onto just the type and not just the characters. On the type, we can actually come down here and add a new fill. So it adds that fill back in, virtually looks no different right now, but we can actually change this fill to a gradient. So we go to our gradient tool, we come down here, we can select linear or radial gradient, but we cannot select freeform gradient. But we can do a linear gradient, just like that. So it puts the gradient out there once we click that. We can redraw the gradient. Maybe I wanted it to go from top to bottom. I can hold shift to keep it in 90 degrees. And so the gradient goes from this color to this color right here. Can double click on the colors to change them. Maybe I wanted orange up top and maybe a brighter orange down below. In my opinion, I wanna reverse these. So I'm just gonna drag this down and drag this one up. We'll just reverse this gradient. I think the darker orange should be down below. Now we can pull on these different handles. Zooming in will help you see them a little bit better. We can extend our gradient out. We can also move the gradient up and down with this handle. And we could redraw the gradient if we wanted. We can affect the influence of one color into the other. So if I wanted a little bit more of this color until it hits the bottom, then I can move this little triangle around. We can also go into the gradient and click these three dots here on the right. This is the properties panel. And we can edit the gradient over here. I'll link a gradient tutorial in the description down below that you guys can go watch if you want. I cover gradients in larger depth in that video. But we've added a gradient to editable text here. So we can completely edit this text. The gradient scales with the text. So if I were to press return and move this text down, the gradient actually scales with it. Go back to that gradient tool and I can see this gradient goes from top to bottom here on the text now, but I could still make adjustments to it if I wanted. Now this is point type. So the question would of course be, can I do it to a text box? The answer is definitely yes. So we've got this text selected. We go into type, double click on characters, remove this fill, go back out to type and we add a new fill. This type can be a gradient, so we grab that gradient tool and let's do a radial gradient this time. So it goes from the center, the lighter orange to the darker orange out on the edge. So we've added a radial gradient to this text. And once again, it does scale with the text box. It'll always remain kind of in the center or wherever you click for that gradient to be. Now, unfortunately, we cannot use the freeform gradient on a compound path or any multiple shapes. It has to be on a single shape. So without getting too complex or complicated, you basically can't really use that freeform gradient. Even if you outline your text, group it together, merge everything together, and even create a compound shape, that freeform gradient tool just doesn't really work. So you do have the option for the linear gradient or the radial gradient. You can keep your text editable or you could create outlines and use the gradient on your text as if the text were shapes as well. To do that, you can just click on your text, go up to type and create outlines. That's shift command or control O. Now this text still has this gradient on it, but now there's no font necessarily associated with it. So you cannot just edit it, but this will work like shapes now. So you could make different anchor point edits to your text and really customize it with that gradient applied. That's how to add a gradient to text here in Illustrator.